right, so as promised, here I am. Uh, as promised, we're going to eat some really hot wings now. And most of you guys already know me. I'm Joseph. This is my wife, Marina Arbuckle. And we're going to pay a little homage. Pay homage? How do you say that word? No idea. Homage? Pay homage. It's gonna be kind of, this is going to be kind of like a little tribute to one of my favorite shows, Hot Ones. I know a lot of you guys have seen that. On season six of Hot Ones, the number nine wing was doused with this fiery full hot sauce from Hellfire. And, uh, babe, it's, it's, I'm not really looking forward to this. Just the smell of it alone has been making me sneeze prior to setting this shot up. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it says this is the hottest sauce in the world without extract. It has Primo Seven Pot. Carolina Reaper, Trinidad Scorpion, and Bojaloka, which is ghost pepper. Okay, so uh, not for the faint of heart. Anyway, uh, 500,000 Scovilles. I'm going to clean a wing. She's going to ask me a question. <laughs> I'll clean another wing, ask a question, and so forth and so forth, and so on and so forth until I've eaten the fifth and final wing. Um, I'm not going to have any water, and uh, these are heavily coated in this. We toss them in this sauce. All right, so here we go. You ready? No, I'm not ready. I don't want to do this at all. You sure? <laughs> these are going to be so hot. I usually put like a drop of this in something that I'm eating and it's, it lights me up. So At least I have a drink. All right, here we go. First wing. I'm glad the first one is the biggest one. That's fantastic. All right, here we go. All right, first question. What was the hardest part of trying stand-up comedy for the first time? Well, these are definitely hot. <laughs> Holy freaking smokes. All right. So the hardest part about stand-up comedy was trying to come up with something to say. Um, holy shnikes. I'm already hiccuping. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it was hard to come up with something to say. I worked for like a month. Trying to come up with jokes. <clears throat> great, great idea, honey. <laughs> um, just getting up there and talking in, fr in front of people was extremely hard. <clears throat> Are we gonna make it through the five wings? <clears throat> I have no idea. <clears throat> <clears throat> just talking in front of people. <clears throat> when they called my name up, and my heart started pounding. I was super nervous, but once I got up there and got the ball rolling. That wasn't that bad. All right, wing two. All right, here we go. I Good don't know answer. If this is the grip. This sucks. Wing done. Wing two done. All right, wing Question two. two. Question two. So, what is your all-time favorite bourbon? Oh God. Oh, oh God, this sucks. I'll be okay. You'll be fine. You look fine. Oh, can they, you guys get through the tears? Where my mouth's on fire. My all-time favorite bourbon. It's a really hard one. It's like. That's what she said. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. That's a really hard one. I love bourbon. There's so many bourbons. Um, and it's something that I can drink all, all the time and not have to worry about it. I don't know. Just pick one. Out of all the bourbons you get to drink and try on a daily basis. You do, what do you think? What if, what if I said that was my favorite? If I had to put them all in a basket <laughs> and then pick one for you, it would probably be Buffalo. Buffalo Trace. I'm probably just going to go with Buffalo Trace because... I can get it all the time. You can I don't afford have, it. I can afford it. It's like thirty dollars a bottle. It's not like I'm gonna go to the store and not be able to get it. Buffalo Trace. Let's go to the third yeah. third week. All right, here we go. Oh. They literally take a bite of this and then go to the next one. No, I got flicked on my nose. Uh, 
drink tastes good as you're eating your wing. Third wing. All right, third Go. question. <sighs> Who is your favorite band and why? Oh, uh, uh, a terrible question. Uh, <laughs> Favorite band and why? Yeah. Oh, oh you guys. Uh, uh, I'm picking Revolution. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, Revolution is my favorite band because they've got upbeat songs and they have a lot of chill songs. And more times than ever, more times than not, I need to chill. It makes sense. And a lot of times I can put on Revolution and it takes me to a happy place. Like right now would be a great time to put on some Revolution <laughs> as we go into the fourth week. Oh, I want to eat and drink something so badly. <sighs> All right. <laughs> oh. Fourth wing. In, uh, <laughs> in this <clears throat> segment, I'm going to have Joe eat his fourth wing. But we're going to do what you call the deep dive into Joseph's Instagram. And I'm going to pick three pictures <sighs> and make him explain what each picture means. <sighs> so go ahead. That's where I pull up the first picture. Oh, God. All right, I'll get it ready for you. <laughs> Here is uh, this first picture. Good picture. Yeah? Yeah. Nice clean. Oh, God. Uh, this is a picture of me and your, bro your brother, Drew. Is that Jesus? <laughs> Who's that? If I had to guess, that'd be Jesus. We're sitting in front of Jesus. Here he is again. Uh, yeah, let's picture me and Drew, your brother, and this was after. Let's see, why would Drew be here? Uh, Drew, why are you here? <laughs> I gotta say, this is like a Christmas service. Is that Christmas service? Tell me, you were there. You probably took the picture. If I had to guess. This was Easter. This is Easter? This is Easter. This is Easter, maybe a couple year, years ago, and it's tradition for us to go to church. And make then, mom happy. Anyway, it's for mom. Thank you, mom. And then we took pictures outside. It's really pretty. Uh, there's these statues, a great little place to take pictures. And so this is one of me and your, your brother after Easter Sunday. All right, let's go to the second <sighs> picture. <sighs> And here's a second picture. Oh, this picture I know. This picture because I have a picture, a look of maybe a little, I don't know, frustration, we'll say, with a cold beer in my hand. And there's got to be a baby behind me, I'm sure, because something about me being in a bar and there being a small child, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it bothers me. And we're here at the... Tap room in Irwin? Some tap room. I think Somewhere this is where we're at probably the drinking. Tap room <laughs> in Irwin, I think. And uh, I ran a small child. Um, and I just probably got done throwing down a few F bombs. And, you know, that's yeah. probably going to be that kid's first words now. So that's what that is. All right. Third and final picture. Okay. <laughs> Can I have one of those paper towels, please? Uh, I get a little one. I'm good now. <gasps> All right, last picture. This is a picture of a cactus in bed with a balloon, and the balloon has a bunch of band-aids on it. Is there a caption? It just says, hmm. Great. I'm sure I have no idea why I posted this, but it's a picture of me, and it's like, for some reason, you, know, you just... I'm a glutton for punishment, and I like to th like things that hurt me, uh, I think, or <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment, or I hold on to things Obviously. that I end up breaking. <laughs> it's like the thing that I love the most, I'm going to end up hurting and breaking, and so it's a classic illustration of an arbuckle trait or thought, a classic illustration of an arbuckle thought. All right. <sighs> okay. Last wing and I'm ready to get ready. Ready. Last and final wing. Oh, 
final question. Where was your favorite place to um, live growing up as a kid or a young adult? As a kid or a young adult? Oh. So, as a young adult, I think we call it too, right? Sure. Well, I love you. Oh man, it's a tough one because as a kid growing up, we lived in Florida, which was hot, and I grew up with all my friends and I had great times and great memories, but we left. So I'm really upset about it. It definitely wasn't Greenville. Honestly, it's it's rough because I want to say Charleston because I had so many memories in Charleston. Yeah. Uh, really good ones. It's beautiful there. I loved it. I had a lot of sad memories in Charleston too, where you know you're college and you're doing dumb shit. I'm gonna break girl. <laughs> That's okay, it's after the fifth wing, so. It's so hot, guys. This is five, four times hotter than the bomb, and it's really hot. I'm gonna pick Johnson City because uh, you're here, so it's, it really, I met you here, I met my wife here, we met here, um, and since then, we've had so many amazing memories, so many great little trips. Um, if I hadn't been in Johnson City, I would've met you, we would've never went to the Keys, all the amazing things we had to build, we had to buy this house here. So hands down, my favorite place to live grow up is here in Johnson City, Tennessee. Good answer, Joe. <laughs> That's it. We're out of wings. We're out of wings. Um, out of tears. That was extremely hot. Um, if any of you are wondering how hot that is, feel free to uh, come over and I'll make you a wing and you can try some or you can put a dab on there. Uh, the fiery fool is no joke. Thank you guys for tuning into the segment. Please, please subscribe, even if you don't want to see more videos, but hopefully you do. Comment, share, uh, comment below on what you'd like to see us make. Maybe Marina can make one of our wonderful drinks or her cheesecake, or we can do another drink video. We got some Arbuckle. It's Marina Arbuckle. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh, God. I was so hot right now. Shoo! You're making me sweat. Oh god.